Good morning all, this is our daily video on overall market direction for Bitcoin. Now, the market's obviously going to keep an eye on the conflict in the Middle East and how it escalates or doesn't escalate, but the focus of today is going to probably slightly shift over to inflation. Um, now these figures, what they can do is they can affect the market in the short term, they can also affect what the Fed does in the medium and long term, which will then affect what markets do or begin to price in in the medium for the long term. Um, so essentially what we're looking at today is the key numbers are the inflation rate year on year. Does it come in at 3.6 percent? And the prior reading was at 3.7 percent. So ideally, we're looking for something at least 3.7 percent and below for markets to take that positively. But the, I think the main thing is the inflation rate month on month previously was at 0.6 percent. We're looking for that to come in at 0.3 to 0.4%, somewhere in there. If this comes in slightly hotter at 0.6% or higher, the markets probably won't take that well in terms of risk assets, probably won't take that well. And that might lead to a slight further sell-off. If it comes in, in and around consensus, so around 0.3, 0.4%, the inflation rate comes in at 3.6, 3.7%, then I think risk assets will take that somewhat positively, but I think it's already been somewhat priced in as well. Um, the risks, I suppose, are a hotter print. The numbers coming in higher than expected. So really, I, I think that is the main risk of what we're dealing with today that could be the risk to markets. I don't think we can see any surprises that really drive the market higher. I think the surprises will come from hotter numbers in here, which would essentially take risk assets lower. Of course, later today, we have initial jobless claims out as well. So that is something to pay attention to if that is, you know, comes in significantly higher than 210 or it comes in significantly lower than 210. That could also move the markets. Now, moving across to Bitcoin, with that being said, um, there is a nice opportunity for us today for a trade and it's in the altcoin market. I will cover this separately. But today, looking at Bitcoin, essentially, when I zoom in on this, we were looking yesterday and the day before for it to continue to hold this liquidity area. So where we found previous resistance and where we found previous support. And again, we managed to find support here quite nicely. We'll zoom in slightly on the 12 hour. But unfortunately, we weren't able to sort of maintain this decent candle closure here, which saw the sell off with this wick. And then we had a close back in the box. So there was potential for it to then begin to move higher from there whilst finding the support on this local line. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do that and we closed below. Now what we're looking for, if we look to the four hour, is we got that move, but we broke below the trend line. We got that move back into the trend line. We got a resistance and rejection there, which then took us lower. What we're now seeing is on the RSI of the four hour, we're now seeing that there is a bullish divergence. We're below the RSI based MA, and that might be able to take us back into the green liquidity box and retest the green liquidity box plus the underside of the turquoise lines. Let me zoom out a little bit on this as well. So I'm essentially thinking we can get a move back into this area here, find the underside of this line as resistance and then reject from there. So a nice setup for trade on Bitcoin could be a short into the 27,300 level. But what I would be looking for is I would be looking for on the smaller time frames to see the move go up quite nicely into here and then see a number of times us move into this line and find resistance. So you want to see the price go up, hit the line, come back down, back and hit the line again, reject again. So you want to see these smaller rejections on the smaller time frames to then lead to a bigger rejection, for instance, on the 12 hour on the daily time frame that could then break us down to here. If we look at the funding rates, um, essentially, Bitcoin is in a relatively neutral area here. Uh, there's not too, you know, there's more longs than shorts, but there aren't drastic, a drastic amount of longs in comparison to shorts. So nothing really um, to show there or go off there. If you look at the liquidation heat maps, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see, um, I mean, we've started to see some more liquidation levels for shorts in these areas here. But I think a test of 27.1 to the 27.3 area could take out some of these and that's where we could get that rejection. Again, it could help drive price higher with a short squeeze, but I don't think there's the amount of, um, there's, there's enough USD 
worth of liquidations that could drive a short squeeze significantly higher, which is why I still target the 27,100 to 27,300 area as a possible you know, relief move higher to then reshort from there if we do get the rejections on the smaller time frames. That's it for today, guys. I'll do another video on the alt I like for a possible trade.